Welcome to the comic book shop of doom. I'm your host. This video is not for children. So if you're under 13, get your parents permission to watch this. I wanted to get this made a couple of days ago, but I haven't had time and nobody else is talking about this where they had a movie pass. It was a scam slash joke that got out of hand and um, nobody wants to admit it. So here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play a video on off. It's off of their website. Well, it's not their website. Somebody created this. So it's moviepass.ventures. Go there and you can watch this until they take it down. But I wanted to get this on camera and then I'll give you my opinion of it. So check this out. Movie Pass, ladies and gentlemen, is in the news again. There is a new website that just popped up from uh, Movie Pass Ventures that has popped up with a countdown clock. Now, this comes to us from the folks over at Variety who write, On Tuesday, a Movie Pass website launched a countdown clock set to end on Monday, March 22nd. And a tagline The movie is about to start. Here's the Movie Pass Ventures website, which is separate from the company's original MoviePass.com website, was registered anonymously on February 7th, 2021. And, and it's got enough traction that even like a site like Variety is actually talking about it. Wake up, Sophie. So you see what happened here? Somebody went and built a website for under 20 bucks. It says, please wait till the movie starts. This website was made with around $20 with no purpose other than the full friends. It was tweeted out by a Twitter user who we have no affiliation with, and the media picked it up from there. Some articles claim this was the official MoviePass website, which was completely fabricated by those journalists. So they've been in bankruptcy for a while. And I haven't heard anything about anybody buying their assets. And I was wondering when that was going to come up. Because in my opinion, that 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 their model of, of you know, like paying 10 bucks a month and you get unlimited movie tickets, like one per day, that you can't sustain that. But I was surprised that somebody wasn't going to buy it and turn it into a streaming site. So you could movie pass and yeah, yeah, you pay nine ninety nine a month and you get all these movies and you know they license the rights like a Netflix knockoff. So that's what I was thinking it was going to be, and you know this they had a countdown clock for a week and it turned out to be a joke, and this shows you how much the um, public and the press and you know and the reporters they don't check nothing out. Nobody did their homework on this and. Uh, they could have probably found out if they went to the bankruptcy court because I haven't heard anybody buying their assets. So that's the, the weird thing is I was like, you know, usually you hear somebody picked up their assets and they're going to plan a launch, but this was like quick and I'm like, okay, we'll see what this is. And then I remember it on that Monday, I, I, I turned it on and I was like, wow, this was a scam. It was a joke and nobody wants to pick up on it. And shame to all the other YouTubers out there that I sent this to. I sent this to a couple of guys I talked to. And they didn't want to cover this. So it doesn't fit the narrative where um, these guys all have agendas now. And uh, I've very rarely been doing videos lately because there's no traction on them. Nobody, they don't promote it. Nobody watches them. So it's like, what's the point? You know, and it's going to take me forever to get it to where they pay you. So I'd, I'd just rather go do my own stuff on my own. But um, I just wanted to get this up because I thought it was kind of funny. The the movie pass resurrection joke. That's what I'm going to call this. <laughs> so <laughs> somebody with 20 bucks builds a website and it's all fraud. So I hope you enjoy and check it out on your own. It's, it's at moviepass.ventures. So that's the website, moviepass.ventures. So who knows how long this is up before they get sued or, or sent a cease and desist letter. But, you know, I thought it was pretty funny. Everybody have a good day.